Okay, hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for supporting the channel. So I'm going to go ahead and get a message from your ancestors and your angels. Now this is a general message. It may not resonate with everyone. So take the parts that resonate for you and leave the rest. Anybody interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below. Thank you to those who do reach out for those. And thanks to those who donate to the channel. And to those of you who do subscribe, it's very much appreciated. So what is the energy here? For Virgos today. Thank you, Spirit. I do hope that everybody is well, Virgos. What is the energy for Virgo? What is it that their ancestors and their angels want them to know here, Spirit? All right, give me a card for now and a card for going forward. Okay, straight out there. Coming out sideways. And going forward. Thank you. Now, one of the first things I heard here, Virgos, is someone here needs to accept some truth here. I, I don't know. It feels like this has to do with maybe around a child. This could be an adult child, right? Um, but it's almost like, um, it kind of feels like turning a blind eye is what it feels like. But your first card coming out here, it says, make time to work, rest and play. Now it did come out sideways. So it's giving me this energy where some of my Virgos, it's almost like you need to find balance. You know, it's all good working. Yes, we all kind of need to work in one way or the other, right? It's that energy of needing to survive. But Spirit is saying here that, you know what? It isn't always just about work. It isn't always just about money. It isn't always just about material things. It feels, the, it feels like uh, energy of a balance in the mind is also important. Maybe some of you ain't spending enough time with children here. You know, it's that energy of nurturing and watering things so that they grow properly. It says, we were filled with laughter and we sang for joy. This is also giving me some sort of sad energy where there may be some sort of memories around children here. So this could be like somebody missing a child. This could also be giving me this energy of maybe someone here needs to kind of revert back to that childlike energy. It's kind of like I'm hearing life is for the living. Now, going forward, you do have acknowledge God's truth. And it says, and you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. So let's see what tarot cards that I'm getting with this, because again, I'm still picking up this kind of sad, you know, um, energy here. Feels like it's almost like I'm hearing the word grief. So let's get some cards from here first. Spirit, what is this energy for Virgos? You know, this may be something where it makes someone sad, but Spirit is saying, hey, would you rather know the truth or would you rather kind of like live a lie? Surely you would want to know the truth. What is this for my Virgos? What is the message from their ancestors and their angels? Thank you, Spirit. Let's do one more. Three cards. Can I get two more? Thank you, Spirit. What sign of Virgo? What is the energy here? Yes, interesting. We have death at the bottom of the deck, and I was hearing I give up. If someone here feels like that and you manage to catch this video, 
it is easy, I know, for me to sit here and say, don't give up. But it's also this energy where I almost want to say to someone, you know what? The Most High is not going to give you more than you can bear. So this is definitely something that you can get through. What do we have? So the first card I'm seeing here, it says doubt. And it says, I release the need to know all the answers. Yeah, I'm hearing walk by faith and not by sight. In the reverse, interesting, we have abundance. And it says, I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. Someone here feels like they can't manifest what it is that they want. Someone here may be feeling hopeless, helpless, right? Someone here may feel like their back is against the wall here. It just feels like someone here can't see the light at the end of the tunnel. Abundance. It also gives me that energy of, you know, someone here, hey, if you push through this, if you don't give up, if you keep fighting, uh, you it's almost like you're going to be surprised with whatever it is that is lying ahead. Whatever it is the ancestors and angels have um, planned for you. But it's almost this energy as well here, Virgos, where they kind of needed you to learn a lesson first. What was the last card here? We have empathy, yeah. It says, I am open to seeing both sides of a situation. All right, Spirit, <clears throat> what is this for my Virgos? Yeah, as I part the deck, I'm seeing awakening. They needed you to see something here. But again, learning the lessons is going to help you to see things from a different perspective. Ten of air. It says the end of a difficult situation. It says embrace the change and expect things to get better now. It says recovering from an addiction. Now, obviously, that is not going to be for everyone, but it definitely could be for someone. Yeah, the five of fire. I'm also hearing something about um, near-death experience. But we have the five of fire and the five of fire does talk about, you know, a situation that is bothersome. It can talk about, when you think of the five of wands, it's that energy of conflict. It's the energy of drama. It's the energy of maybe too many people being involved in a situation here. One more shuffle. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, the energy of release, letting something go. I'm hearing for someone here, it's time to move forward. Somebody has definitely got somebody in their emotions here. All right. What is this? Make time to work, rest and play. It's giving me six of cups energy. So I don't know if this is something that has to do with the past here. Um, it definitely could be that energy of nostalgia. So you have the five of air coming out here. Okay, show me more. See, the five of air is the five of swords. And the five of swords is that energy where, you know, someone here may have been dealing with, I want to say, a trickster or someone who plays mind games. It can talk about gossip. It can talk about someone here may be in their emotions because something that kind of seems like a good idea at the time, you know, very much later down the line, someone here may be realizing that, hey, that wasn't such a wise choice. Show me more. What do we have for Virgo? What are we getting stuck on, Spirit, here? The two of air oh interesting so together they make the seven of swords and the seven of swords does talk about lying cheating thieving somebody trying to get away with something secrets um it's almost that energy of 
I almost want to say that backstabber energy, you know. But whatever this lies or deception or whatever this is for someone, it has someone in a stuck place. The Two of Swords on its own can talk about stalemate. It can talk about somebody being at a crossroads or someone here. Um, like I kind of said at the beginning, it's also giving this energy where someone here may have got some signs or something about a situation and chose to ignore it. So the five of air, it says an unwise choice. It says learn what you can from the situation. It says review everyone's motives. Show me more. Thank you, Spirit. You have the Queen of Water, and that is Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio energy. Someone definitely could have been dealing with a Queen of Water. Or maybe you have this energy in your chart here, Virgos. Usually, you know... The Queen of Water is someone who is very loving, very caring, very nurturing. You know, it's that very warm energy here. It says relationships develop to a new level. It says trust your intuition. It says care for yourself and others. Now, this definitely could be talking about, like I said, maybe someone here wasn't paying attention to their intuition, right? Uh, and maybe something here came out and, and someone's feeling some type of way about it. But even in this card, this woman, she has wings, which gives me earth angel energy. But it also gives me a lot of protection around someone. This woman is almost surrounded by orca wells. And orca wells, um, when you find out the spiritual meaning, it does mean protection. Show me more. We have the four of air. And one more. Thank you, spirit. What is the message here from our Virgos? Yeah, we've got the High Priestess at the bottom of the deck with the Emperor and the Queen of Fire on the Four of Cups. Hmm. Okay. You have the Ace of Air. Yeah. The Ace of Air talks about truth, talks about clarity. It says brilliant new ideas for some of you. OK, so again, you know, paying attention to your intuition, even if this is about um, some sort of work opportunity. I just saw the emperor. If this is about, you know, you guys needing to follow your intuition about becoming your own boss or being entrepreneurs here. It could even be, you know, telling you that, hey, you need to use your intuition about a boss figure or maybe even a father figure. Some of you, you may be dealing with an Aries or Taurus. The Ace of Air, it says brilliant new ideas and inspirations. It says seeing the truth of a situation. It says a challenging beginning. But a new beginning all the same, right? It's an ace. I feel like to me the aces are the universe personally coming in and giving you a new chance at something. You have the Four of Air and it says... Time to rest or take a vacation. It says allow more time before making a decision. It says med meditation may bring answers. So again, that energy of rest in here, right? After some sort of ordeal. Now the five and the four, that makes the nine of swords here. Now the nine of swords talks about anxiety. It talks about stress. It talks about worry. It talks about interrupted sleep. Um, it is this overall that kind of um, it's almost like a mental thing like I said I don't know if this is the energy for someone where someone here is very much stuck in their head right um, unable to move on from something here but it feels like spirit is very much ushering you to kind of do that so I always say to you guys you know especially when it comes to the ancestors and angels messages here that don't be afraid to call on the angels you know don't be afraid to kind of Speak to your ancestors. Don't be afraid to speak to the Most High or whoever you call on, right? Because that is what they're there for. I'm here and we're here to assist you.
show me going forward thank you spirit acknowledge god's truth we are getting oh look who we're getting stuck on <laughs> we're getting stuck on the moon now the moon to me yes it can talk about your intuition here right some of you you may find at this time that your abilities may be heightened here but I feel like with this moon energy it also talks about things that are hidden secrets it says events behind the scenes it says release fears that hold you back and you know i feel like for someone here it is a number 18 and the 18 it boils down to a number nine and right behind it we have the nine of cups here now usually the nine of cups can talk about your hopes your dreams your wishes it's, I feel like for some of you, this may have to do with a relationship somehow. Now, it could be a relationship with a friend or a family member. But it feels like something was wish fulfillment to someone. And, and it's kind of not turned out the way maybe you'd hoped. But this is also saying to me that for some of you moving forward here, it's almost like your dreams are ahead of you. What is this moon card? What is this truth that my Virgos need to face head on here, Spirit? The two are there. It came back out. It says being unable or unwilling to make a decision. It says a stalemate. It says pretending there is no problem. Mm-hmm. Show me more because they're kind of giving me a scenario and it may just be a metaphor, but this is kind of like this energy, right? It's just an example. You're in a relationship with somebody that you really like, okay? You really want it to go the distance. Or maybe this is someone that you have been with for a long time. And then somehow, some way you find out, you know, let's say someone leaves their phone hanging around and you find out that this person is either speaking to other people. Oh, uh-oh. Here comes the ravens. <laughs> Message. And you kind of find out, yeah, I don't know, maybe this is some sort of message someone saw. But you find out that this person is either involved with someone else or they're speaking to someone else and it breaks your heart. Now, you know within you that really and truly you should walk away from this situation, walk away from this person because it's about self-worth, right? I keep telling you guys, you know, sometimes the way you behave, you teach people how to treat you. Now, you may really want to be with this person, so you just don't say anything, right? Or you pretend that you ain't seen the message, or you just pretend that you don't know something. But it's almost like your conscience, you know? It's, and that to me, I don't know how to explain this. It's almost like inside you you ain't okay with this but yet you're still on the outside pretending that hey everything's okay everything is good that kind of energy is almost like building something up till one day you just explode and that would kind of remind me of like the tower spirit show me more what is this truth that my virgos need to accept and move on from Five of water, yeah. It wanted to land on that four of air. And it makes me think of somebody maybe crying at night time or crying when they're on their own here. It says things not turning out the way you'd hoped. It says not seeing the positive in a situation. It says crying over spilt milk. And I literally just said that. And it's interesting how this is the five of water. And you see we have one, two, three cups kind of floating down here. And we have these two cups still standing. I don't know if this is the energy of, like I said, maybe someone finds out that someone was kind of entertaining multiple people. 
Or this could be the energy of spirit saying, you know, I don't focus on this third party situation because what is ahead of you is the two of cups. And you see that little, I think it's an orca well that is in front of this cup. It's almost like spirit saying, hey, your true partnership, your true union it, it is coming in and it's protected here. But you would have had to let go of what no longer serves you. Show me more. This is interesting. I just saw the king of earth at the bottom of the deck. And now I'm seeing the queen. So I don't know if for some of you if this is a marriage. What is the message here for my Virgos? Thank you, spirit. I've got two cards. Two of water. There's that two of cups. And what did I say about it being protected? The seven of fire. Now, again, for some of you, this may be a relationship that you want to fight for. I mean, at the end of the day, we all have free will, right? Yeah, <laughs> you have the four of cups here. Now, the four of cups is usually that energy of somebody feeling like they've missed an opportunity. So, again, I don't know if spirit is saying, hey, if somebody stays in this two of swords energy where they don't kind of make some sort of decision, right? If they don't kind of face the truth here, you may miss the opportunity for that two of cups energy for true love. It says missing an opportunity. It says discontentment or boredom. It says open your eyes to the possibility. So this could even be somebody staying in a situation or staying in a job or staying in a home that actually doesn't make them happy. But yet someone here is just kind of going with the flow. It feels like that's not what your ancestors and angels want you to do. It's almost like this energy of someone here not going towards their divine purpose. What else did we get? Balance. Mm. We spoke about balance at the beginning here. It says the need for balance and moderation. It says cooperation and compromise. It says wait for perfect timing. Give me one more. Give me one more. Thank you. Interesting how they're both a five here. Balance is a number 14, which boils down to a five. And then we have unity, which is a five. And the fives can talk about change. Now, it also gives me this energy where, you know, someone here may feel like, yeah, they want to make some changes, but they don't want the conflict that comes with it. It says traditional viewpoints or methods. It says spiritual organization it says seek out mentors and like-minded friends so is this an energy where someone here has just outgrown a situation someone here is evolving so if you are evolving but yet you're keeping yourself in a place that or around people that are just not on your level anymore or just don't see things the way you see it it's that energy of it's time to move on here. King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, it's time to move on. Look at that with the chariot. This is about somebody having the confidence here. This is about motivation. This is about not underestimating yourself. It's almost like someone here, they have the vision with the high priestess. We've got a queen of fire. Listen to your intuition here. The chariot talks about divine guidance and it's a number seven. There's some sort of warning here. All right, Mother Mary, anything else that my Virgos need to know? What is the message here? For Virgo. What 
we have, Mother Mary? Give me two cards. Thank you. <laughs> I just saw the word mother. So for some of you, this could be, uh, uh, you know, I don't know if your mother has passed away. You know, definitely not for everyone. It could be just a mother figure that may be um, sending you this message here. But your first card, you have truth. It says, I am lovingly honest with myself and others. Someone here is not being honest. So I heard, so therefore you're not living in your truth. Hmm. And you have health. It says, my prayers for healing miracles have been heard and answered. So, you know, at the beginning, was it at the beginning? We saw one of these cards which talks about addiction, um, you know, some of you could be fighting something like that here, right? Or Spirit is definitely giving you some sort of warnings to maybe change something. Yeah, I don't know. I'm also hearing your body is your temple. Hmm. Give me two cards for my Virgos. Thank you, Archangel Michael. What is the energy here? What is the energy? Oh, okay. I don't know if that was for me to see. <laughs> but it says, trust the guidance you're receiving. <laughs> it says, Archangel Ariel has blessed you with a brilliant epiphany. I am also present to clear away your worries so you can trust your divine guidance. It's almost like I want to say to someone, you ain't going crazy. Pay attention to your intuition. It's telling you something here. Two cards. Thank you, Archangel Michael. What do my Virgos need to know? So we have a flipper. And can I get one more? Bottom of the deck, you do have the way forward is open. But if you notice, it is a number 32. And that, again, boils down to a five. It just feels like, yes, this energy of conflict and drama and chaos here. It's so... Uh, maybe someone here is just too worried about what other people will have to say or how other people is going to react about something. I think I said this before. It's that energy of almost the most high looking down and saying, well, who do you fear? You fear humans or do you fear me? Hmm. So the first card I'm seeing here, it says, prioritize self-care. It says you do so much for others. It's time for you to experience the love you deserve and let others help you. And then you have, yes, it says your vibration is rising. It says this is a time of great spiritual growth. For you, it says you are evolving to occupy a higher energetic frequency. And I use that word already, evolving. You've outgrown some people. You've outgrown, I don't know, you've outgrown something. What do we have for Virgo? Look at the two cards that fell on the table here. You have Beware and you have the Moon card. We already have the Moon card out here. It's almost like... Mm, it's giving fake, friend. <laughs> it's, giving, it's giving fake <laughs> is what it's giving, okay? Now, the Beware card, it says, Be careful who you trust at this time. And then you have the moon card. It says, pay attention to your intuition at this time and move ahead confidently. Do you know what? Okay, give me two cards. Thank you, Spirit. 
for my Virgos, what they need to hear. I'm hearing that song again. I've been hearing this for days. I don't know why. <laughs> but it's almost like I keep hearing a bit where they say, who do you love and are you for sure? Something here is very tense as well. I don't know. Yeah, it's that energy of relax. I don't know. All right, give me two cards. What did I just say? I kept hearing, who do you love and are you for sure? Look at the bottom of the deck. It says the lovers. It says there are two paths ahead. Be true to yourself. <laughs> Give me two cards. Thank you, Spirit. And one more. Thank you. Bottom of the deck we do have now, and it's a number five. I'm telling you, there's something here good that comes with some sort of change. It says celebrations. It says, are you ready? To bring new and exciting things into your life. <laughs> okay. So the first card that I'm seeing here. It says weathering the challenges ahead will bring in new and will bring in a new and positive future. So whatever these obstacles are. Spirit is very much saying that you can you can get over this. Why am I getting this energy that I don't know if someone here has had some sort of um, major operation. When I say major, I mean, you know, it could be something as bad as somebody maybe losing a limb or, or something like that. Or, or operation that after the operation, you just feel like, you know, you can't be who you was before or it's, it's giving something big. You have, yeah, mountain. It says, know that you are protected as you face challenges, but remain cautious. Now, like I said, when you think of a mountain, a mountain is pretty big, right? So like I said, this in someone's mind, this may be like a really big obstacle. But Spirit is saying you can do it. Not only can you do it, know that they are there every step of the way with you. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be a human that had this major operation. It could be an animal or something like that. It could even be a child. All right, let's get you two last cards for my Virgos. Thank you, Spirit. Give me two cards to end this reading. It's also something about licking, licking your wounds or something like that. Two cards. Bottom of the deck, we do have Celeste. It says a happy move to a new home or place of employment is in the works. It says this movement will usher in positive new energy. Two cards. What do my Virgos need to know? How do you want to end this reading? Thank you, Spirit. Shall we? Thank you. And thank you. Yeah, for some of you, I did say you're not in your, you're not living in your divine purpose here. But it's almost like you have an inkling or you have a clue or you've been receiving signs about what that divine purpose is. At the bottom of the deck, you have, you are a light worker. It says, God needs you to shine your divine light and love like an angel upon the earth. It says, and in and all of its inhabitations. So you have Oshina. And it says, take action. You're in touch with your truth in this situation. And you need to trust your gut and lovingly assert yourself. And then you have Isaiah. It says... 
It's a good time to give birth to new ideas and situations in your life. I am watching over you, guiding you and protecting you during these changes. There could be something here about a pregnancy. I don't know if someone is going to be a single parent or and they may be worried about that. You're shielded, you're protected. And if it is about a child, I always say to you guys, regardless of the situation or circumstances, every child is a blessing. So that is what I've picked up here today for you Virgos. Guys, if anything did resonate with you in this reading, I do ask that you hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. But if this is where we part, stay safe. Love and light Virgos.